I keep seeing videos on YouTube about Amazon KDP and how you can make a crazy amount of money publishing low content books such as coloring books. But most of the methods require a paid subscription such as Midjourney AI. So in this video, I'll show you a totally free way of making similar coloring books with the help of AI. Okay, so I'm going to use this table to show you exactly how you can do your own research and ensure that what you create has a high chance of selling. You don't want to waste any of your time. Here, we can see that I've picked this niche called, Cute and Cozy, and I'll show you exactly how I figured out the elements I wanted to include in this book. I won't be using any paid software for research, don't worry. Head over to Amazon and type in, Coloring Books. Then, look at the results, and make sure to ignore the sponsored results, as those won't help us gain organic traffic. Here are the books that I reviewed. There's a general theme of, Cute and Cozy, and they were also targeted toward adults, so that's the niche I picked, as you can see here. The category that you want to consider, for example, is shown when you click on a book. It displays the category, such as number one bestseller in plant and animal history and criticism. You can write down the categories that you want to rank in, just to get an idea of what other books are also ranking in. For instance, one of them is in art, relaxation, and therapy, which aligns with the direction I like, so that's what I noted here. As for keywords, I derive them from the titles, like cute, adorable, cozy, bold, easy, and so on. All of this information can be obtained for free, and you don't really need a paid subscription. For the dimensions, I went to the bestsellers ranked in this niche. It indicates that the books are 8.5 by 8.5 inches and approximately 50 pages long. They are priced at $7.37, so I recommend pricing slightly lower. I chose a dollar less. However, we have to consider the profit, which we'll address later in the video. Now, let's move on to generating the images. To generate my images using completely free methods, I'm going to use an AI website called Perchance AI, which is both free and unlimited to use. This is what the website looks like. Now, we can ask the generator to create something for us. Before you begin using this generator, make sure the art style is set to illustration, as I found this works best for coloring book pages. Also, ensure the shape is set to square, because our coloring book has square dimensions. You can leave the other settings as they are. I'm going to select 15 images to get the most out of each generation. Let's type in, coloring book page of a cute bunny. It will take a few seconds to generate your images, but as you can see, you get some pretty decent results. Obviously, not all of them will be usable, for example, this one isn't quite suitable for a coloring book, and this one is a bit cut off. However, there are some really good ones. If you're not happy with any of the images, you can simply hit the regenerate button. The image quality is pretty decent, especially for a completely free software. If you like an image, right-click on it and select Save Image to save it in full resolution. Let's try generating something else. Now let's try Hedgehog. Once again, hit Generate, and we get some really decent visuals to use in our coloring book. You can adjust your prompt if needed. Overall, because you can use this tool an unlimited number of times, you can create as many images as you want, allowing you to add numerous pages to your book. You could make it 100 pages long compared to the 50 pages we saw on the website, giving the buyer more value. Let's try one final creature. This time, I'll go with Kitten. Again, we get some really decent coloring images that you can use. If you're not satisfied, just hit Generate again, wait a few seconds, and there you go. The only annoying part of this website is the ads, but honestly, they're not that bad considering what you get out of this website. Okay, now let's move on to creating the actual book. For this, we are going to use Canva, but before we do that, we need to get the dimensions right for the book. First, head over to the Amazon KDP cover calculator, input all the necessary information, and then click on Calculate Dimensions. You will be given a detailed explanation along with a template that you can download. Once downloaded, open the template to see the size specifications. Now, let's head over to Canva. We'll use the dimensions provided by the KDP cover calculator. Click on Create a Design, then select Custom Size. Change the width and height to the correct values given by the calculator. Make sure the units are set to inches, then create the new design. 
Next, upload the KDP template to Canva so we can use it as a guide and ensure that we don't exceed any of the borders. You can adjust the transparency of the template if needed. This template will guide us as we design the cover. The front part of the template is for the front cover, and the other side is for the back cover. Now, you want to make sure that your cover stands out. For this, head back to Perchance AI and generate some images with color. For example, type in golden kitten pencil color. We want our cover to stand out because that's what people will primarily look at when buying your product. If you get too many pencil-only images, you can modify the prompt by simply typing golden kitten. I'll also show you how to remove the background so your cover looks polished. Let's say you want to use an image on your cover, just save the image, then go to a free online background remover tool and upload your image. The tool will remove the background for you. Now, we can go back to our Canva project and add the image. What I like to do is use a couple of images on the front cover to make it visually appealing and to showcase what the book offers. Here, I'm adding different animals to the front cover and including a title that says, Cute and Cozy. Underneath, I'll add the words, Stress Relief. On the back cover, you can display some of the images included in the book and add a brief description as well. Great, now we can move on to creating the actual interior of the book. But download the cover first. Click on Share, then Download. Change the file type to PDF Print and choose Flatten PDF. And then Download. OK, so according to Amazon, we need to have this margin size for a book with 100 pages. So, go back to Canva and create a new design with the correct values. Make sure the unit is in inches. Click on File and then Setting. Next, click on Show Rulers and Guide. Now, we can drag the ruler until we have the appropriate margins. Now, we can simply add a black border to help with the guide. Now, we can duplicate this page as many times as we want pages. Place your image onto the page and resize it, making sure it looks good. So, keep adding more pages until you have a complete coloring book. Make sure to use the same download settings as we did for the cover. Now, we can publish the book, so head over to the Amazon KDP website and open an account. Next, click on Create and then Create Paperback. We can now use the information we gathered at the start to complete this page. I'm gonna go with this title right here. Make sure your title is descriptive and includes the keywords. I'm gonna leave the next few entries blank. Enter an author name for yourself, for example, Mary Publishing. I'm leaving the contributors section blank. Then, make sure to add a good description filled with all your keywords. Select the first option for publishing rights. Then, select no for primary audience. The primary marketplace is Amazon. Now, add the categories from our board as well as the keywords. For the publication date, I use the first option and then select release my book for sale now. Click on save and continue. Now, click on assign ISBN. Now, select black and white interior. Now, for the book size, select 8.5 by 8.5 inches, and the bleed settings should be PDF only. Choose matte for the cover finish. Under the manuscript section, we have to upload the interior of the book. Next, upload the book cover and select AI-generated content. Use the same settings that I have used under the AI section. Now, we can launch the preview to check for any errors. Next, under Territories, select the first option. Now, we can finally add our pricing and see how much profit we will make. Now, just click on Publish, and the book will be reviewed in a couple of days. Then, your book will become live. Just repeat this process until you have many books uploaded to start seeing some results. Subscribe to my channel for more ways on how to make money online.